Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to show you how you can reveal or hide text or titles behind an object or a moving subject. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Just wanted to remind you that if you do enjoy my tutorials and find them helpful, please hit the like button or comment. I really appreciate the feedback, be it good or bad. That being said, let's not waste any more time and jump right into Final Cut Pro. Down in my timeline, I have a demo clip downloaded from Pixabay of a busy street with cars and pedestrians going by. I'll link the video in the description. What I want to do for this effect is add a title and reveal it just as this man walks across the screen. First thing I'll do is place a playhead at the start of my clip, open the Titles and Generators browser and type BASIC into the search bar. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a basic title just because it's easy to demonstrate on, but you can pick any title you want as long as it doesn't have too much motion in it. So I'll select basic title and press Q to connect it to my timeline. Now over in the inspector, I'll select the text inspector tab and enter my title text and adjust the font. For demo purposes, I'm going to make mine nice and big and adjust the tracking slider to increase the space between my letters. Another thing I want to do is stretch the letters out to take up more screen space. So with the title clip selected, I'll click on the transform button and drag out on the wireframe to stretch my title. Take the time to make sure your title looks just the way you want it to, because changing it later will be a pain in the <laughs> Next, I'll place my playhead at a point just before my subject walks across the screen and add a draw mask to my clip from the effects browser. Since my subject moves across the screen from right to left, what I need to do is add a bunch of control points to the right of my title. I'll add a couple more control points on the edge to close up my box and hide my title. Since I need to track my title with a subject, I'll have to animate it with keyframes. In the inspector, I'll select the video tab and add a keyframe to the control points and transform parameters. Next, I'll move my playhead ahead one frame and move my control points around the outside of my subject. The more keyframes you use, the better this effect is going to look. I'll keep moving ahead one frame at a time and adjust my control points until my full title is revealed. Depending on your subject and the length of your title, this process can take some time, but I think the end product makes it worth it. One last thing I'm going to do to my example is add a little bit of feathering to the mouse to make it look a little bit softer. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. I'm not sure about you guys, but for me personally, the Draw Mask is one of my favorite tools in Final Cut Pro. There's just so much you can do with it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite or most used tool in Final Cut Pro is. As always, likes, comments, and shares are always appreciated. New Final Cut Pro tutorials are released every week, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if there's a specific topic you'd like to see in one of my future videos, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.